Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and I have another word to release to you guys today. Now I know I thought I was not going to be up here for a while, but God gave me a word yesterday and so he was like, get back in the game, okay? So I'm back with another word. The title of today's word is called, they don't want you to walk into your marriage promise. God is calling you higher, okay? They don't want you to walk into your marriage promise. God is calling you higher. So just make sure that you take the word back to God, okay? There's different parts for different people. Um, I hope that you guys can hear me well because I'm working on an old phone. So the audio has been choppy lately, but if you can't hear, then hear with your spiritual ear, okay? And so this is coming from a dream that the Lord gave me. I'm going to read the first part of the dream and then I'm going to get into the second part, all right? So in this dream, my family member was planning to stop me from entering my marriage. I saw this family member and two other family members huddled in like a circle and they were talking about the plan they had. I then appeared and said, nobody, not even this person can stop me from walking into my marriage promise. It's like they heard me loud and clear. I saw another family member with like somebody they were possibly with. And they were dressed in all black. It was like they were just filled with evil and didn't want to see me walk into this promise. Their heart and mind towards me was just pure evil. Okay. So for some of you, if you know it's your marriage season, if you know that um, you're getting ready to walk into a marriage soon, God is basically saying this is like a last minute attempt for um, some family member of yours to start up some type of a plan to try to stop you from walking into your marriage promise now this could be anyone this could be a mom a dad a sister a brother whatever that has this plan and they're bringing other family members into this plan because they don't want you to walk into this marriage union okay this could be your side of the family this could be their side of the family either way when i said in the dream that this person i said or nobody is going to stop me from walking into my marriage promise this was God saying, go ahead and pray whatever scheme, tactic, or plan that this person is trying to conjure up. Go ahead and pray that off and counsel that in the spirit, okay? Because when I said it, it was very like loud and clear. Like they knew nothing is going to stop me from walking into this marriage promise, okay? So whether it be somebody in their family, somebody in your family, pray it away. It's not going to prevail. It's not going to work. You are still going to walk into this marriage promise, okay? Um, and these people that are planning this don't realize that they're stepping into dangerous territory by trying to come against what God has ordained to come to pass before you or your spouse was formed in your mother's womb. So they, they're not coming against you. They're coming against God and they're stepping on dangerous territory. Okay. So just know that whatever plan they got conjured up, it's not going to work. So in the next part of this dream, I saw myself at my old job and I went to my boss and told her I wasn't going to be working there anymore. Then I saw that she was talking to someone in her office that was going to be taking over some work that I was supposed to be doing, but had not been doing. It was like it was not apparent until after I was going to leave. Then I seemed to need to wait a little while before leaving. My boss was trying to convince me to stay so that the work I was supposed to do that wasn't getting done and was now backed up could get done because I really needed to stay and not leave yet. I was proposing to stay a little longer. She was agreeing then changed from wanting to need me to saying, can she just use me for insurance? Like she will cut me from being an actual worker there and use me just to get that backed up work done or offer me a contract position and not full time. Since I told her I didn't need to work there anymore in the beginning. It was like she was trying to take advantage of me or get over on me and use me as an opportunity to work things out in her favor, even though she knew I would be at a loss because, again, I didn't need to leave just yet. I also remember feeling in this dream that I didn't want to have to work. There was like a deep sadness of the realization that I had to go back to work in this job okay so this is going to be for a particular people um i knew this didn't have nothing to do with me because in this dream this is a job that i had four and a half almost five years ago and the stuff that happened in this dream never happened to me so i know that this is going to pertain to quite a few of you um so because of the marriage promise that god has given some of you 
some of you feel like it's time for you to walk away from your job because of the marriage promise that God gave you. And God is saying for some of you, it's not quite time for you to leave your job. And he's warning you that if you leave your job before it's time, you're going to get played. Like they're going to play with you. They're going to cut your hours or they're going to try to make you a contract worker. And they're going to try to come up with some type of um, issue as if like you weren't doing a particular thing that's in your job description. And so they're going to try to make it seem like something to get to make it to where you're not going to be working like you normally was because you came to them saying that you wanted to leave but then you were like oh i need to stay a little bit longer um so god is saying it's not time for you to leave do not go to them to try to leave yet because if you do it's gonna mess up whatever you got going at work they're gonna try to cut your hours they're gonna try to make you a contract worker whatever they finna try to play you all right so to avoid that god is saying it's not time for you to leave for who that is for um for others of you it is time for you to leave your job, okay? God is leading you into something else. You received a marriage promise, and you thought that you were going to walk straight into your marriage promise. Um, but there are certain things that God is trying to do with you before that marriage promise comes to pass. Um, and so in the ending of this dream, I had a deep sadness of realization that I had to go back to work. So that is indication that for some of you, you are not supposed to go back to work. You are supposed to leave. God is literally pulling you away from working. Okay. Um, and he does not want you working anymore. And you thought because you got this marriage promise that you were going to walk straight into this marriage promise. Um, and then now it's not looking like that. It's you're, you're, you're like, what is going on? It's because God is taking you to a, through a process before he allows you to step into your marriage promise. And for me, when God called me out of work, which is a very long time ago. Um, I remember I was crying. I was in my apartment and I was in the restroom and I was on the floor crying. Like I was not concerned with a marriage promise. I had other stuff going on in my life, but I was crying over the toilet and I was like, Lord, like why me? Why me? I mean, bawling, crying on the floor. It's not just coming out everything. And I'm just like, Lord, why me? Why you can't use this other person, right? And so then um, I didn't got off the floor. I went to my living room. I sat on my couch and I'm sitting on my couch and I'm still kind of like crying, still kind of like wondering like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Because at that time, God had called me to not work. I couldn't work no, no nine to five, no job, nothing. And um, at the time I had been working a lot. I had been working like 60 hours a week. 12 hour days, like just trying to survive. And God had called me out of working a regular job, Uber Eats, all of that. He called me out of all of that. Um, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm crying to him. And I'm like, Lord, why me? This is like really heavy on me. And um, I had a family member offer me a job position. Basically the job was mine if I wanted it. All I had to do was tell him that I wanted the job. And I knew, I knew that the Lord had told me, you cannot work a job anymore. No, no. And so um, I messaged my family member back and I said, no, I'm not going to work the job. I'm not going to take the job. And all they replied back to me was, wow, okay, wow, okay. Like they didn't understand, like their carnal mind did not understand why I would be walking away from a job when my rent is not paid. Why would you not take a job when you have nothing, no car, no job, no friends, no nothing. Like, why are you saying no to a job? But I knew God said no. And, um, I didn't know what was going to come after that. All I knew was that I had to be obedient to the voice of the Lord and it was painful. And when I was asking God, why me? He said to me, Moses said the same thing. All right. And so when he said that, I had to go find the scripture of what he was talking about. And it was Exodus 3 and 11. OK, it says Moses answered God. But why me? What makes you think that I could ever go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? Verse 12 says, I'll be with you, God said, and this will be the proof that I am the one who sent you. OK, that's what God said to me. I'll be with you. That's all you need is me. I'm with you. And God is saying the same for some of you. 
All you need is him. He will be with you. You're not understanding this process before you go into a marriage promise. You don't understand why God is pulling you away from a job. You don't understand why he's taking you through this process, but it's because there's a purpose that he wants to birth out of you before stepping into a marriage promise. And for me, that purpose that the Lord had for me was he was calling me to prophesy. Less than a week after um, I had told this person no to the job, less than a week, he had birthed my purpose. And that was for me to prophesy. He called me to prophesy. He said, okay, it's time. He had already given me the dreams. He had already given me um, the, the revelation of the dreams. And he told me to post a video every day. And that's what I did. That's what started my ministry. And that's what God wanted to birth out of me. He wanted to give me a different life. He wanted to give me purpose in Christ. He didn't want me working 60 hours a week, 12 hour days like no man. He was like, daughter, let me show you that I have better for you. Let me show you that I can take care of you, that I can provide for you. All right. And so for some of you, you're going through this process and it's confusing you. Like, I thought I was going to walk into this. And it's like, there's a process that God is trying to take you through. There's some healing, there's some deliverance, there's some things that has to be uprooted out of you and you're unaware of that. But God is um, taking you through this process and he just needs you to walk in obedience to whatever he's asking you to do. So if he said, let go of working, let go of a job, then you need to be obedient to that. Let go of your timeline of when you thought you were going to step into this marriage promise and just allow God to be God in your life. Allow him to do what he wants to do, okay? I know that that was for quite a few of you um, and some of y'all really needed to hear that. And I just want y'all to go to God and I want y'all to just don't compare yourself to anybody else's journey. Stop comparing yourself to what somebody else is doing. It may look like y'all walking into the same thing, but you don't know what that person has been through. You don't know what that person went through to, to go to a next level. You don't know. So comparison is the thief of joy. Do not compare your journey to somebody else's journey. You have to know what season you in. You have to know what time is for you. You have to know your seasons and times, and you have to know what's going on in your life, okay? You can't rely on what's going on in somebody else's life to be what's going on in yours because, again, you only know what people tell you. People may not tell you the whole entire story. You may not be able to take two steps in a person's shoes that you're comparing yourself to. You have no idea what these people have gone through to get to where they're about to step into or what next level they at. You don't know. So don't compare yourself to anybody. Focus on what God is trying to show you, what he's trying to do with you so that you can progress so that you can grow so that you can step into whatever promises he's giving you okay so i hope that helps somebody that is all for this word i will see y'all in the next video feel free to share this to anybody that you feel need to see it like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye